how to get cobwebs in Minecraft. This video will explain where to find cobwebs, how to get cobwebs, what cobwebs do in Minecraft, and the different uses for cobwebs. Let's start with where to find cobwebs. Cobwebs can be found in stronghold libraries, igloo basements, abandoned villages, and woodland mansion spider spawner rooms. Most of these locations are hard to find. Stronghold libraries are generated in strongholds. Strongholds generate thousands of blocks away from each other underground and can be found by throwing eyes of ender. Igloos can be found in snowy tundra, snowy taiga, and snowy slopes. When finding igloos, there's a 50% chance for them to generate with a basement under a piece of carpet. An abandoned village has a 2% chance of spawning and will have villagers replaced with zombie villagers. Woodland mansions are far away from the world spawn and could be tens of thousands of blocks away. They can be found by buying the Woodland Explorer map from a cartographer at the journeyman level for 14 emeralds and a compass in the Jav edition. The spider spawner room may spawn as part of the mansion, but there is also no guarantee. The best way to find cobwebs is in the mine shaft. The mine shaft can be found underground and is a group of tunnels. It can generate with cave spider spawners with lots of cobwebs around the spawner. The best spot to find the mine shaft is in the Badlands biome as the mine shaft generates on the surface in the Badlands. Badlands generate in the drier biome clusters, so they will generate close to desert and savanna biomes. Just be careful around the spider spawner, you might want to disable the spawner with torches so you won't get attacked by spiders. How to get cobwebs. Using shears on cobwebs will drop the cobwebs as an item. The crafting recipe for shears is two iron ingots in this pattern and you don't need a crafting table to craft it. You also can use silk touch enchanted tools to drop the cobweb. The silk touch enchantment will drop the item instead of breaking it. If you use a sword on the cobweb, it will drop one string. Using either a sword or shears on a cobweb are the quickest tools to break a cobweb. Other tools have an increased breaking time and will take a lot longer. If water touches or flows into a cobweb, it will drop one string. Also a piston pushing a cobweb will drop one string. Lava flowing into the cobweb will destroy the cobweb and drop nothing. What does the cobweb do in Minecraft? The cobweb can slow the movement of mobs or players moving through it. With players it will decrease the player's movement speed to 15% of normal walking speed. Putting ice under the cobweb will decrease the movement speed even more. Also, if the player is falling into the cobweb, it can take 13 seconds to move through one block of cobweb. In Jav Edition, a player jumping in a cobweb will vibrate the player, similar to jumping in a two block tall space. Also, being in a cobweb will limit the rate a player can break blocks. The cobweb can be used to prevent fall damage. This means it will mitigate the fall before entering the cobweb, so you can still die from fall damage if the cobweb is high above the ground. Also, if you fall through a cobweb, you can still perform a critical hit, as falling is the same as jumping. The only mob whose movements aren't slowed by cobwebs are spiders and cave spiders. Mobs also do not pathfind around cobwebs and will go through them. This can be exploited as a mob trap to slow down a mob or kill them. Mobs can spawn in cobwebs. I would think this refers specifically to spiders as the cobwebs will be around a spider spawner. The cobweb can partially stop blast damage if the player and entity causing the explosion are both caught in the cobweb. Cobwebs can have items placed on the side or on top of them like paintings and signs. Cobwebs can also be used to delay falling items, cancelling their momentum. It can be used to delay items going through hoppers or onto pressure plates. Items that fall into the cobweb can take a maximum of 24 seconds to fall through. Items will also not merge with other items of the same type. In Jav Edition, blocks that fall through the cobweb will slow down, then drop after 4 seconds. An arrow can be shot through a cobweb without being slowed down. Minecarts with no players take 9 seconds to fall through a cobweb if there is no rail under the cobweb. However, if there is space between the rail and the cobweb, it can take 34 seconds. Every extra cobweb will add 25 seconds of falling time. Players are unaffected by the cobweb when in a minecart unless the player comes into direct contact with the cobweb. One thing that should be mentioned as in Bedrock Edition, a cobweb can be crafted into 9 strings. 
What are the uses of cobwebs in Minecraft? There are a couple of different uses for them. One is for decorative purposes, to give some ambiance, especially when you want to use cobwebs in a spooky build. Another is for mini games for making it difficult to move through a maze composed of cobweb. Also it would be for PVP traps, as you could create a hole that a player could fall into cobwebs that will slowly make them move towards lava where they will die. You could use it in redstone to slow down the movement of items into a hopper water stream or from a dispenser. Last, it could be used to create mob traps or slow down mobs as they can't pathfind around the cobwebs.